They call it the Big Green Wave, and surfers from around, well, Mexico, but also North America come to surf. Probably the finest, some of the biggest waves you'll find. It's an absolutely beautiful coast, and here on this beach, just check out those massive waves that sometimes can get up to six meters high. The journey has brought us here, not to just the ocean side, but a place which I think is totally cool. Brace yourself. We're taking you inside a place that is, well, essentially a turtle nursery. That's right, and an eco center, but what is a turtle nursery? It's where they hatch these turtle eggs so that they can actually stand chance when they release them within a year or just over a year of their life into that big, beautiful ocean over there. And well, they can actually stand on their own. A turtle nursery is where we're gonna see turtles big and small, and some not even born yet, just past this gate. That's where it's all waiting for us. That and Poncho. Let's go find them. This is where it all starts. We've got some samples here of the sizes and who's who and what's what. Yes, right now we are working with three different types of sea turtles. We just have a fake of the eggs, regular put for the black. This is a fake of egg for the black, black sea turtle. turtle. Black, black sea turtle. turtle. Black sea turtle, yes. Okay. And this is smaller one, belong to the Green Pacific or Golfina. Golfina turtle, it's a little bit smaller. Golfina is the smallest sea turtle of the world. This one, though, is not a fake at all. That is a real one. And, and it can buy you already. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's our real one. And uh, it's, you, can, you can definitely tell. And what kind of uh, turtle is this? This is an alligator. This is an alligator a egg. A fresh water crocodile. I mean. is, there, is there like a baby alligator in here? Uh, maybe not, because it has to be very underground on the sand. This is a, a safe place for them to grow and develop in their early ages before they're released. Yeah, it's very safe. And the main idea is to put the young generation into the culture to preserve alligators and sea turtles. I always think of sea turtles as needing some sort of care in that growth period, but I'm thinking alligators, they could probably from the day they're born stand on their own, but I guess that's not so. No, what happened, people hunt them for their skin, and that's oh. the reason to be protected. Not only yeah. really for the meat, but the skin is expensive. The skin is expensive? Alligator boots and belts. Of course, purses, of course. right, bonnets. right. Uh, this is the great thing about this nursery, if you will, uh, is that you actually create an awareness and you can actually get up close and personal. Um, that's our winning family over there. I'm going to go talk to the Sullivan. If I'm hearing these rumors correct, Pancho, we're actually going to be able to go to the lab and see um, sort of the hatching of? Right. We, you guys are lucky because today you get to see three babies Laud sea turtle, guys. Laud is the biggest sea turtle of the world. It can be... 500 kilos heavy, two meters long, but you're just gonna see the babies, not the mom. Um, who wants to see some babies? Oh, yeah. oh my God, you guys, is the heat getting to you? Come on now, come on now, energy, let's go. Is, who wants to see some babies? Yeah. <laughs> Laud is called a leatherback. Laud has no shell, only skin, that's, no shell. That's an, that's just and skin? This, is, this has got a baby inside. Right now? Right now, it's a baby inside this <gasps> so the, 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 the major risk for these guys, they have no shell. So that the predators, it's easy for them to, to grab them. This is uh, the laud. This is a laud. This is one of the biggest sea turtle of the world. It just hatched this morning, a, a, few, a few minutes ago. Did you guys <gasps> see that their belly is open? Because the umbilical cord is going inside. Yeah, yeah. That is how they recognize the place where they were born if they arrived at an old age. So oh. this is a laud. It's the biggest of the world. You guys can grab it like this. Oh my gosh. And take a picture with it. Oh Let me show you the other one, guys. That's a little tiny baby one. This is, this is the Golfina or Green Pacific. Oh see the difference? <laughs> This is the smallest sea turtle of the world, this and this is the biggest sea turtle of the world. This is yeah, wonderful. Oh my god, look at that. This is so, I mean, I can feel his little heart beating. Oh I my know, gosh. It's amazing. Amazing. To give you a sense of the release, we're actually going to release some into the ocean right now. So, Pancho, what's happening here? You just guys gonna grab one, one baby turtle. You can give it a name and give her a good, good wish. Junior Michael, okay, and your name is? His name's Bob. Bob, Junior, Michael, and Freddie. I'm gonna pick up. Um, uh, this is uh, Charles. Okay, and now what do we do, Pancho? Stay behind the line. Okay. On the count of three, we're gonna start a turtle race, guys. Turtle race. 
Ready? On the count of three. One. Okay, you start counting. Three, two, one. Go! Oh!